Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just a day in the life vlog. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Jill. I have a daughter named Ava. She is 10 months old and I'm a mommy lifestyle vlogger. So I hope you like this video. I really love vlogging. Um, if you do like it, give it a thumbs up down below and make sure you subscribe and follow along with me and my family. It's already like two in the afternoon, so it's not even a complete day in the life. Um, but I decided to film kind of late. Anyways, I am getting ready right now, hence why I have no makeup on. Just a little life update. My husband and I are gonna buy a new car. I have a really hard time buying cars. I have the worst buyer's remorse when it comes to like really expensive things. So whatever we decide to do, I know, um, whatever we decide to do, I know that I'm gonna like have a hard time accepting, <laughs> accepting that. But so I don't know, and you guys can leave it in the comments if you've run into this issue, but our car seats do not fit in our car. We have a Mazda CX-5, like a new one. It's a, you know, I guess, I don't know if you'd even call it a compact SUV or it's just like a regular SUV to me. Um, but the back seat is so small. And we, long story short, we got an infant car seat for Ava when she was born. Did not fit comfortably at all. She wound up hating it, so, um, we got her another one and didn't even think to measure our new car, the new car seat, thinking like, oh, why don't we find one that actually fits in the car a little better? We didn't do that. So basically right now she's in the middle, in the back, in a convertible car seat. And obviously she's facing backwards because of her age. Um, so it's just, it's really a pain in the butt. We're not, my husband and I are not comfortable in the front seat because our seats have to be completely up. Um, like we can't bend them back at all. I can't put the seats back far enough. So even when I drive, it's like, I have really long legs and I'm tall. Like I can't, I need my the seat to go all the way back and it can't, so it's hard to drive. Um, so just all in all, this car's not working for us. I love it. I love the car. If the car seats fit great, we would probably keep it, but <laughs> it doesn't. So also I want to apologize. I don't know if anyone if you like are an avid watcher of my videos, but my last two videos, the quality is so bad. It's like when I go through the editing process, everything is fine. And then somewhere in the, when I'm compressing the file or exporting it, it's getting messed up. So some of my videos are like going in and out and kind of fuzzy and my audio is not very good. So I apologize, I'm gonna, this video I'm gonna try to do some things differently. I don't really know what has gone wrong at all because my other videos are fine. It's just the past two and I don't know. So I apologize, I'm not the kind of person who's gonna like half-ass something or put up a piece of crap. Like I, I want my stuff to look good. I have really good equipment. I have <laughs> really good like, software, I have a good computer, it's just that I don't have good enough knowledge um, as far as like the technicalities behind all that, so I'm working on it. So bear with me, um, but anyways. So we are car shopping, we decided we're gonna get a three row vehicle, a three row SUV, um, and we're between the Honda Pilot and the Toyota Highlander. Um, I like both, probably, equally um my first instinct was the honda that's kind of what i've been wanting but now that we're looking at the highlanders i'm kind of leaning towards those we're definitely buying used um just because i don't buy i don't buy new cars like the warranty is nice and everything but i don't know i just feel like you spend too much money okay sorry i'm back i did take a little break there and i don't really remember what i was talking about before um i'm still getting ready by the way um, oh, so car shopping, but well, so we're gonna get a new car. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with our old one yet. If we're gonna try to sell it, um, you know, outright, or if we're gonna do a trade in, we haven't decided. Um, we like really don't want to take on a car payment. Our cars are paid off. Like 
it's hard thinking about like taking on another one um but like i don't know what other choice we have at this point it's getting to a point where like like we drive up north so often that like we need to have a comfortable car to do so and i don't foresee that changing like you know like our trips up north aren't gonna like lessen um and the last time we went we borrowed my in-laws car which they have um like they have just an suv2 it's a hyundai santa fe but it just has a much bigger back seat so we were able to put ava behind my husband or in the driver's side so when i had to go sit back there with her i was able to um whatever i was able to sit back there more comfortably i wasn't like squished in this tiny seat next to her car seat so i'm just curious like if you guys have ran into like that issue at all um like your car seats not fitting in your car like i see people with car seats in tiny little cars all the time i don't understand why we have such a hard time in our suv like is it just our suv is it like just the kind of car we have is this a common issue um but so when i was pregnant and we were like installing the infant car seat and getting ready trying to figure all that out um obviously i had this big belly and we got everything situated got the car seat in there and i remember getting in the car and i had to sit so far like up that it was cutting off my airflow i could not ride comfortably in the car from that point forward so for the first like months of Ava's life when she had that particular car seat I just I didn't drive like because I was still like bigger and I had this stomach and like you can't breathe when you're pregnant and it's just it was awful um so I'm just like thinking like what if I were to get pregnant here shortly like <laughs> in a few months like I'm not going to be able to drive this car I'm going to be so uncomfortable again um you know and then it's where do you put the other car seat like I don't know we can't put the one behind like neither of them fit behind the driver or passenger car seat so it's like we don't have i don't know like i know the cheaper route would probably be to just find two car seats that fit back there and i know that there's a couple options out there but it's like does that solve all of our issues no because if i have to sit in the back there's still no room for me I'm just talking this out guys because I'm already feeling buyer's remorse and we haven't even bought a car. Um, leave comments down below. I'm curious like if you guys have the same car seat problems or like do you have a recommendation between the Pilot or the Highlander like one over the other. I'm just curious to see like what people like. If you're someone who like watches my video regularly and you're just you're also like a fellow YouTuber. It can get so hard, right? Like, <sighs> maintaining a schedule and that commitment. I mean, maybe it's just me. I've never been somebody, though, that, like, can't meet deadlines or can't, like, I don't know. Like, I never, had, when I was working, I never had any issues with, like, deadlines and all that stuff. So I don't know why I'm having such a hard time, like, fulfilling the promises that I've made to myself as far as this channel goes. But... I do know that my videos are so sporadic right now, um, but I am like, I'm trying to just get my shit together and like by the new year, I want to be uploading two to three videos a week and on, cons on consistent days. Um, so I'm going to figure that out. I actually asked for like a day planner for Christmas. I'm, so <laughs> I'm such a nerd, um, but I'm just going to start planning things out a little better. Um, so if you are someone who watches me regularly, I know there are a few of you and I will get better. I've been on such like a social media hiatus. Um, I like don't even use Facebook anymore. I like look at it, but I don't like share any of my stuff to social media. Um, Sorry, I, our landscapers are driving around outside and their truck is so loud. So if you hear anything in the background, that's what it is. Um, but it's like, I love YouTube. I love this platform for social media. And then like, I'll share everything to Instagram. But even Instagram has been um, 
I don't know. It's not, I don't want to use the word annoying because I really like Instagram, but um, it's just it's just been like I feel like I'm not seeing a lot of people's posts, and I know that a lot of that is like the algorithms and all this crap. I you know again, I'm not the techie person, but it's just been ad after ad after ad, and that's how Facebook got for me. So. That's been just a little frustrating. So I've been on like such a total hiatus. And um, so I don't know if you're someone who followed me there. I know I've been like MIA. We, um, I just posted Ava's like 10 month update video. And she was so cute in it. So if you haven't watched it, you should. Despite the bad audio, it's really quiet. I did not know it was that quiet until I, I watched it. Um, after I uploaded it, but at this point I can't fix that. But it, she's super cute in it. Um, but I talk about how great she's been doing like on her schedule and sleeping and everything. And then like last night rolls around and she was up twice, which is so unlike her. And then this morning she usually naps really well and um, for like a, at least two to three hours. Like she takes two naps a day and it's usually for two to three hours between the two naps. And she gave me just 30 minutes earlier. So like I had plans to do a couple sit down videos this morning and you just can't with her. Um, probably or any baby for that matter. Cause it's like between the lighting and the tripod and then just trying to watch what they're doing. It's like if they're not playing by themselves or getting into something or they're pulling your tripod over or whatever it is, you just, I cannot do a sit down video with her anymore. It was a lot easier when she was a little less mobile and would just like sit there and play. That failed and it was so frustrating and I was like, I almost am like ashamed to admit it because it makes me feel so bad now, but I was mad. I mean, there are days where it does not affect me at all. Like stay up, don't nap, whatever. I'll hang out with you. I'll play with you. We literally play all day long. But today, just because I had plans for myself and like wanted to do these videos and I couldn't, obviously I can't like say anything to her. She's or yell at her or anything. She's 10 months. Like she has no freaking clue. But I hate that feeling. I hate feeling like I was upset with her. Um, so anyways, I don't know if anyone else struggles with that. I it was hard, um, but anyways, I'm gonna do a another diaper bag. What's in my diaper bag? Like an updated one, since Ava is much older now and the contents have changed. That video did really well on my channel. People seem to like it, so I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do a nighttime cleaning routine because um, one thing that. Um, my husband and I are really consistent with is that after Ava goes to bed we like seem to have the same routine every single night that like make sure our, our house stays the way we want it to um, so I'm gonna do like a speed clean routine and just show you what we do every single night to make sure that when we wake up in the morning it's not just like a playpen downstairs um, so stay tuned for those um, but anyways I'm gonna finish getting ready and I know I've been talking your ear off. That's what happens when like you're a stay-at-home mom and you don't have any other adult interaction during the day. You just have all these thoughts like pile up in your head and then you just go on and on and on <laughs> about it. So thank you. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Um, but I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, all right, so today this is going to be the world's longest vlog because I will not stop talking. Um, but I'm going to make dinner. I'm actually making, or I just finished getting ready. Um, I decided to like quit doing my hair anymore because like whatever. We're just going to look at cars tonight. But um, I like to like bulk cook and cook ahead of time. Um, my meals just so that I don't have to do it a lot and I actually am gonna make like some ham and cheese sliders I don't know if they'll be tonight's dinner um, or tomorrow or whatever but I have time before my husband gets home Ava's still sleeping and I have ham that I need to eat um, I make the ones with like the Hawaiian rolls and the poppy seeds 
they're my favorite. I don't eat the Hawaiian rolls though, um, just because of food allergies, but I make a modified version for myself. However, um, I have not had these sandwiches in so long. And then last week, um, I was watching this other fellow YouTube mom, Katie, if you're watching this, um, I'm making these sandwiches because you made them and I have not stopped thinking about them since then. So anyways, I'm gonna do that. And then hopefully by the time my husband gets home, Ava will get up and we will maybe go look at cars. Not buy a car, I am not buying a car tonight, but we will go look at them. Look who woke up way before she was supposed to. Mm-hmm. There's a microphone. Yeah. Say hi. See, I don't nap anymore. I'm not napping anymore. No. We're not napping anymore. So we are back home. We really, really, really liked the car. Um, we knew we were. We did not buy it, but I don't know. We're gonna, my husband's gonna sleep on it and make the ultimate decision, but inevitably we're gonna need a bigger car, especially if we wanna have more kids. But with that being said, I'll keep you posted on what car. Again, we looked at the Highlander today. I actually think the Pilot is off the table. But anyways, I'm going to let you go because I know I've talked way too much in this video. It's probably going to be 20 minutes long. But I thank you so much for watching. I really love doing vlogs for you guys. And I hope you want to stick around. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.